gorgeous friends and check this out okay so this is from bright and shiny latex they actually sent me this catsuit because as like a thank you for trying on a lot of like their clothes over the past year or so um yeah bright and shiny is my favorite place to get latex it's affordable pricing it's custom and i buy it through etsy but they also have a website so you can get it on either either way Oh, love it love this blue color so this is just basically like introducing this piece there's a lot that I want to do with this I want to do like a cosplay with this I'm thinking like a cop cosplay that I'd like to do so here's the full thing it's a full body catsuit it zips up in the back and it also zips in the crotch area which I find super helpful because I drink beer all the time and I have to use the bathroom um, it's a little short in the legs, which is why I decided to wear boots because heels would look a little interesting. I know these boots are a little like combat-y or a little like heavy duty for this outfit, I feel. But it's what I chose to wear and I haven't worn these boots in a while. They're badass and they have spikes in the heel and like basically a spine as the, as the he actual heel point. I love the shine in this. It is like a little bit tight in the chest area, kind of like squashes things. Look at that, and there's a shine on the uniboob. Don't you hate that when you get that uniboob shine? Uniboob shine. That's a kind of cool saying, isn't it? I was listening to a podcast on Uncanny Valley. Uncanny Valley is like, I guess it's like the, it's the range of physical features a robot has that makes it very creepy to humans meaning we like them to look, we like our robots to look human-like, but not so much like a human that it creeps us out. And I guess scientists or people in IT are trying to figure out just what crosses that line to getting into Uncanny Valley. Because we are about to live amongst the robots. When are we going to Uncanny Valley? We're already there. I also booked another trip uh, that I'm super excited about. This one is within the U.S. to a city that I've never been to before, and I don't know. It just it lately feels like I have, like, or maybe it always felt like this. Like, I've been talking about how, like, unsatisfied I am. And what does that mean, you know? I guess there's just, you just call it, like, an itch you can't scratch. You just can't fill yourself up, and you could try to do it. Uh, in, a, in a bunch of different ways. I guess I'm just trying to figure out what scratches that itch. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've been in love. It, it didn't quite scratch the itch. I definitely don't think sex is gonna fix things, scratch the itch, or satisfy me. It's certainly probably not money, but I think it might be travel or something along the way maybe maybe it's leading me towards something or someone maybe i don't know like something's pulling me towards travel right now so this morning i felt so unsatisfied and unstimulated uh, but then i booked a trip a couple weeks two and a half weeks i'm going someplace else and like i felt after i booked the trip like fuller, more satisfied. So I don't really know. Excited to share my journeys with you guys too. Hope you like this video.